we're here with Reef Aquaculture Conservancy and it's been wonderful to learn more about their work in conservation and this is the 3D reefs that they've been making in all sorts and you're here with Frosty here today. Hi Frosty, what standard class are you in? Can you tell them what class? What class are you in school? Okay, so she's still in the junior and she's so interested in this. She's building at, you know, the little reef city out here. And it's so good that they have them learn about these reefs in such a manner, which is so interactive. And it's, it's, it's so good that they have these different designs, which are absolutely so intact to the original reef. And it definitely saves so much time when the divers go in and even the novice divers can go in. You don't have to be like a scientist to do this, right? So even citizen scientists can go in and use this and build reefs. So here's your chance to join them. So don't forget to see Reef Aquaculture Conserver Conservancy and uh, go on uh, Instagram and um, you know Google and fish them out. And this is what you could learn about their work and promote them. And of course, I'm Elsie Gabriel from UNESCO Green Citizen and we are teaching ocean literacy and the students mean the world to us and like you can see, she's a junior but she's so engaged which is beautiful. So would you like to say, do you like, which one do you like? Which one? I like this one. This? Why? Why do you like this one? If you put this under the ocean, do you think the fish will make it a house yeah. and give babies? And do you think it will be a better world underwater? Yes? Okay, so give a thumbs up to reef, aquaculture, yeah, <laughs> thumbs up. Great work, keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. My name is Guillermo Corona, I'm from Reef Aquaculture Conservancy and now we are here in Australia in, in the ADEX Expo and you can see here this little girl is creating a coral city for us with our material that is net zero and reef. 